Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are well and I hope you guys are staying safe. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this gorgeous skirt that I'm wearing. And I don't know if you can see properly, but this skirt is actually just a simple short skirt. It's got eyelets along the side. I have said to go with like black contrasting rope or twine here, just as a fastener and a det design detail. However, if you wanted to, you could go with the same fabric. I did add a little bit of fabric underneath as well, just to hide a bit of skin. If you want to show skin, you're welcome to omit that part but like i said we're going to go into the tutorial where i show you everything in full details but before we do that i wanted to introduce myself to those of you who are new here if you're new here welcome welcome my name is ayotola the creative director of so unique by Adoni, and the content creator of this channel so unique by Adoni. and this channel was created just for you and i actually mean that it was created just for you to teach you those of sewing crafts that you can do from the comfort of your home so if you're interested in sewing if you're interested in crafting this is definitely the place Place you want to be and all you need to do is hit the subscribe button it's free of charge and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the awesome content that i have for you if you're looking for you know to take in your membership up a notch i do have like paid memberships and they're really affordable so check out the links that i put in the description box for the membership and make sure to join so that you get exclusive members only content right and to all my ogs welcome back you guys know how much i appreciate you thank you for the love and the support over time you guys are absolutely amazing and this channel literally wouldn't be here without you guys so i do appreciate you guys okay enough talking guys so we're going to move straight into the tutorial and like i said it is detailed it is easy enough so do make sure to follow all the way through and if you have any comments suggestions or feedback leave them in the comment sections you guys know that i'm always reading and always responding all right again enjoy the tutorial to start off you need your skirt pattern or a skirt block if you don't know how to draft a skirt pattern, please check out the video I've linked in the eye cards above and in the description box below. My skirt pattern has been transferred onto this pattern card and so it's easy for me to just work with it every time I can just trace it out. The first thing is you need to determine the skirt length that you want and for me, the length of my skirt block is too long. So I'm going to take away four inches which is what I'm marking from the bottom. And then once I'm happy with it, I'm placing the card onto my pattern paper. One thing I should mention is my pattern paper has been folded into two. And the reason we're doing this is because this front part of the skirt needs to be asymmetrical, right? That means whatever is happening on the left, is not the same thing happening on the right. So because the front part of the skirt is asymmetri asymmetrical, I have folded my pattern into my paper into two. So as you can see, I place my pattern card on the folded pattern and then I trace it out. Using an owl, I mark all the points for my dart as well as my upper hip line and my lower hip line. After tracing it out, I use a marker and mark out my dart using the lines or the points that the owl made. I also mark out the upper hip line as well as the hip line. After marking out this point, I label the center front as you can see and the next thing to do is to cut it out. Once we cut it out and we open it up, we will have a full skirt front. After cutting out the front piece, go ahead and open it up like so. And then on the other side, it's important that you also mark out your dart. So using my ruler and my marker, I'm marking out the dart. And the dart points are visible because I used an owl to make those points. Now, from where the dart stops, I go ahead to, you know, draw a straight line down. And this is absolutely, you know, up to you wherever you want it to be. To the left and to the right of the straight line, I mark 1 inch or 2.54 centimeters. So at this point, I'm using centimeters. However, you can decide if you want to use an inch or centimeters. So whatever you decide to use, mark one inch to the left and one inch to the right of your straight line. And the reason why I'm doing this, number one, it would help me to eliminate the dart, but also it would also help me to create a gap for where my eyelids will kind of, you know, sit. Next thing you want to do is get your tracing paper and place it over that point. Before moving over to the tracing paper part, if you want the gap where the lacing will sit to be wider than the two inches already marked, 
you can go ahead and increase it so that means you can do two inches to the left of the dart line and two inches to the right of the dart line and the two inches is what i have in pink however for me i thought this gap would be too wide and it will show too much skin it's entirely up to you so after i was happy with what i had initially which is the one inch to the left and to the right i placed my tracing paper on top of the pattern of that part i went ahead to trace out the dart and also trace out the lines to the left and the right so that's the initial lines at the bottom i made sure to make it shorter than the actual skirt on the tracing paper and this is because i wanted the um, part covering the gap or the lace underneath to actually be shorter then to the sides i marked five centimeters to the left and five centimeters to the right the reason why i did this again is so that in case you know the lacing shifts or the lacing moves your skin is not exposed so essentially that gap serves like a bit of a buffer once you're happy with it go ahead and cut out your pattern pieces so essentially what we're doing is cutting out that gap so that we have you know the center front the small center front piece on one side and then the big center front piece on the other side moving over to the tracing paper as well we're going to cut it out make sure that you notch and you mark all the points so that you know the right part so as you can see i've leveled the part that goes towards the center front and the part that goes towards the side front now let's move on to the back for the back block we're going to repeat the same thing go ahead and mark your desired skirt length and in this case you remember i reduced my skirt length by four inches so i marked that line on my sloper then i went ahead to place the sloper on pattern paper at this point you don't need to have your pattern paper unfold and then i went ahead to trace it out using a tracing wheel i traced out the skirt length so that i have it on the pattern paper as well Using my owl, I made sure to mark my dart, my upper hip line, and my hip line. Once everything has been marked, this is what it looks like. I went ahead to mark out all the dart using my ruler, as well as the hip lines as well, just making sure to trace out the points left by the owl, as well as the skirt length with the points left by the tracing wheel. Then I went ahead to cut it out as shown. For the back you don't need two pieces just because the back is actually symmetrical that means what's happening on the left is also happening on the right label your back pieces and also add in all your allowances for the allowances i recommend one inch at the center back one inch at the side back half an inch at the top and two and a half inches at the hem moving on to the front pieces for the um, lace cover part I wrote two and a half inches at the base, but I recommend only 0 0.5 inches, 0 0.5 inches at the top, 0 0.5 inches at the side, and 0 0.5 inches at the center front. In short, for the lace part, 0 0.5 inches all around. Moving on to the center front part, I recommend two and a half inches for the hem, one and a half inches at the parts that would have the eyelets, one inch at the side front and a half an inch at the top. Same thing for the other side of the center front. Now, after marking out your allowances, go ahead and cut up your fabric. For the back fabric, you'll be cutting out two pieces at once. So make sure your fabric is folded when you're cutting out the back piece. Mark out all your sewing allowances as we discussed earlier. So set one, one, set one inch at the center back one inch at the side back two and a half inches at the hem and half an inch at the top and then repeat the same thing and cut out your front pieces as well if you remember for this particular lace overlay i said i left half an inch all through also for the lace overlay i recommend that you actually close your dart so that you don't actually have to have a dart sewn in place this way it helps you reduce bulk so close your dart and then go ahead and cut it out for anyone who missed this earlier even though it says two and a half inches for the base of this one i ended up using half an inch and that's because i thought it would look neater and less bulky also i recommend that you close your darts before you cut so that you don't have that much bulk pin the fabric onto the onto the pin the pattern onto the fabric and cut it out as shown 
after cutting it out this is what it looks like make sure you notch it at the center front and side front so that you can tell them apart i used two notches at the center front and one at the side front that way it was easier for me to tell them apart for the front pieces we're going to go ahead and start sewing so, so lay your front pieces onto the table so that you have how they look we'll start with the one that has the dart go ahead and mark your dart one very important thing to call out is when you're cutting your front pieces because you're cutting asymmetrical you actually cut it on the right side of the fabric and you only cut one piece so i forgot to say that but it's very important after sewing the dart this is what it looks like now the next thing to do is to fold the eyelet part and for this we left one and a half inches allowance so go ahead and fold in half an inch and then fold over one inch as shown so you first fold in half an inch and then fold over one inch as shown and that's what i'm just doing now i'm using my pins to hold it in place i gave it a good iron at one and a half inches to make it easy for me so if that works for you i recommend doing it as well go ahead and sew it in place after pinning all the way through after pinning and sewing this is what it looks like we're going to repeat this for the other side of the front as well so on the other side of the front piece Go ahead and fold it by half an inch and then one and then obviously like i said earlier if it helps you to pin go ahead and pin it in place if it helps you to iron go ahead and iron it first so this is me just pinning it in place first how i want it to look and then i took it to my sewing machine and then i went ahead to sew it in place also for this piece i cut it on the right side and i only cut one of it after sewing the parts that will hold the highlights this is what it looks like and as you can see the skirt is coming together nicely so using the prime creative tool i'm going to go ahead and like you know make some holes and install the eyelets the first thing to do is to mark out where you want your eyelets to sit and for me i started from two inches from the top so i didn't start from the top right off i marked two inches and then i started to mark my eyelet positions between each eyelet, I had three inches, right? And then I went ahead to mark all this vertically. I repeated it on the other side, making sure that they were aligned. So I placed them side by side so that I could actually check the points. So just to put this out here, this is not an ad. This is not a sponsored post. Actually, I was gifted this by a friend. So this has nothing to do with Prime. I'll be giving my honest feedback. So I'm using a really thick fabric and I was actually, you know, bothered that it wouldn't cut through the layers of fabric. However, it did surprisingly well. As you can see, I had to finish like removing the holes though. It didn't cut it through, through and through, but it did do a good job. So basically, I installed like the prime puncture tools and I went ahead to just puncture the holes as you can see. At this point, if you're watching this and you haven't subscribed, please do well to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on my content okay so moving on i went ahead to cut make you know puncture all the holes and like i said earlier it didn't cut through totally so i had to use like a little bit of a like a scissors to give it a push then i went ahead to install the eyelet and i'll put a separate video or like a short showing you guys how to do that so if you're interested in how i do it please go ahead and look out for the shorts After installing the eyelets on both sides, this is what it looks like and I'm just happy to see that they align. It was at this point I was deliberating what to use for my lace. I didn't know if I wanted to make my own lace. So I just took like ribbon that I had at home and it was contrasting. So for me, it just worked perfectly. I ended up folding the ribbon into two and I'm going to do a neater job later. I was actually quite lazy, but I used this black ribbon. I just laced up the skirt and this is what it looks like after so let's go ahead and do the lace cover that will be underneath the skirt go ahead and remove your pins and after removing your pins what you want to do is sew it along the sides and the bottom do not sew the top so just sew along the left and right side and also sew around the bottom as well after sewing the sides and bottom this is what it looks like go ahead and cut off any excess fabric if you have any so that it lies flat turn it inside out and give it a good iron 
afterwards this is what it should look like so at this point it's ready i'm happy with the results and i'm going ahead to place the pattern on it so i can mark the point to where the gap should stop right just so i know what i'm doing so once i'm done with it i go ahead and place my skirt on top and then i kind of pin it in place you know in in line with the lines you know that it should sit so essentially the lines that you know indicate where our eyelet should start and stop so once i'm done pinning it in place this is what it looks like like i said if you don't mind showing some skin you can actually do away with the cover however for me i didn't want to show skin so essentially the cover works perfectly for me if you want to show some more cover you can if you want to use a contrasting fabric for your cover it will come out beautifully imagine using like fuchsia pink crepe for the main skirt and like orange for the um, cover it will look gorgeous anyway moving on to the back piece you want to go ahead and notch your center back in place so that you can tell it apart and also mark your dot points using whatever method that works for you after marking your dart points, go ahead and sew your darts in place and remember to do this on both pieces. So essentially you have two pieces for the center back. After sewing, this is what it looks like. We're going to move on to sew the center back. From the waist, you want to go ahead and mark eight and a half inches and this is the gap we'll leave unsewn for the zipper. Then from that point, go ahead and mark one inch sewing allowance all the way down. For this skirt, you do not need a slit as it is a short skirt. So go ahead and sew that down as shown and this is what it looks like after sewing. You'll still have the gap of 8 inches on sewn. Go ahead and install your zipper. I'm using invisible zipper because I think it gives a clean, cleaner finish. Now this is what the front looks like and we're going to go ahead and finish tacking the front. But before we do that, let me show you the zipper and the back piece. So moving on to the back piece, this is what it looks like. And guys, look at that installation. I did a great job, if I can say so myself. I did a really good job. Okay, moving on to the front piece, you want to go ahead and, you know, place your pattern onto the cover-up piece. This will help you decide or know where the eyelet should start and stop. So once you've placed that on there, you want to go ahead and place the eyelets where it should start and stop and pin it in place. And you want to do this on the other side as well. Doing this will ensure that the feet of the skirt is not altered. So like I said, pin it in place. And when you're done pinning it, you want to go ahead and tack it down by sewing it on the initial sewing line. So the reason why I recommend the initial sewing line is it will look like a style line and it will just be like double stitches. Place the back piece on top of the front piece as shown and then pin the sides together or use clips. After pinning the sides together, Go ahead and mark out your sewing allowance of one inch and then go ahead and sew it in place. This is what it looks like after sewing. I also took it upon myself to overlock the side seams using my Janome Air Thread 2000D. Moving on to the hem, we're going to go ahead and fold in the hem. And for this, you want to fold in half an inch first. And then you want to go ahead and do an egg one inch and then roll it over one more time. So essentially, fold the hem in place and then go ahead and sew it. After doing that, this is what the skirt looks like. I made sure to give the hem a good iron. And at this point, we are nearly finished with the skirt. And the last thing to do will be to sort out the band or the waistline area. I initially was going to make a band. However, I decided to go bandless. The first thing you need to do is to go bandless, we're going to make some facing. So go ahead and grab your pattern pieces and starting with the back from the top, I'm going to go ahead and mark two and a half inches and cut through this all through. So mark two and a half inches all through and then go ahead and cut it out as shown. Make sure not to use your fabric scissors so that you don't ruin it. After cutting it through, go ahead and label the pieces appropriately and close the dart in place then you want to go ahead and also grab the front piece now for the front piece i know it's a bit tricky here however what i'm doing is cutting through like the middle part that was folded so we don't need two because you know this facing is going to be symmetrical 
and then mark your two and a half inches as well from the waist and then cut it out as shown. Again, you want to close your dart and after closing the dart, you have your facing for your um, waist areas, right? So we have the waist facing, we have the one for the front and one for the back. Cut out your pieces with your front piece being unfold just like so and adding one inch to the side seam of the front and then your back seam, your back pieces, you want to cut two. You add one inch to the side seam and one inch to the center back. Once you're done, go ahead and place this on the front piece, sew the sides in place, and then make sure to overlock the bottom, just like I did. The next thing is to complete the skirt, and to do that, you want to go ahead and grab the facing, place the facing so that the right side of the facing is against the right side of the skirt, and then go ahead and pin the important or pivotal points. So you want to go ahead and pin the side seam, you want to pin the dart areas, you want to go ahead and pin the zipper ends. You want to make sure to pin it all through. And then after pinning, you want to go ahead and work your way by sewing it from one zip end to the other, making sure nothing is pulling or stretching. After pinning in place, you want to go ahead and sew it. And you're going to go ahead and sew this on half an inch, sewing allowance. And after sewing at this point, your skirt is pretty much done top stitch the facing if it helps and then go ahead and iron it so that it looks like this go ahead and trim out your skirt and at this point if you need to change your lace change your lace don't be lazy like me don't use a ribbon <laughs> but if you do have a pretty ribbon i mean why not i like the contrast anyway guys we've come to the end of this tutorial i hope it was worth your while i hope you enjoyed it and i hope it was easy enough if you do make your own skirt do let me know tag me on instagram you know put a link in the comments let me just see it and let me love on you guys as well thank you so much for the love and thank you so much for your constant support i will see you guys next week